Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. And all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. Did all of us say that as we were little children? Uh, people of my generation, I think, said it a lot. A preacher I know from Birmingham, Alabama, Wayne Kilpatrick, has written the rest of the story. He says, finally, someone said, why, of all things, why don't we call on the king of kings? He made Humpty at the very start. He can put together what's torn apart. So they scooped him up and took him to the king who fixed that old Humpty thing. He made him just as good as new and said, Humpty, I have something to say to you. Stay off the wall. Get in the right place. Be a good egg, I say. Make haste. For when you're heart where you ought to be, it's hard to be cracked up, don't you see? I'm going to stay and make you well. Then I want you, all your friends, to tell that when you're broken with no song to sing, just call on me the King of Kings. Do you like it? I obviously thought enough of it to pass it on to you. I like the very basic point that Wayne is making there, that it is the Lord and the Lord alone who can put us back together when we're broken apart. Broken apart because of a fall or however you might want to characterize it. Look at the scriptures and how they teach that. First, think of a person coming to the Lord initially. Can all of an ugly past be forgiven, forgotten? Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, If anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. All of it gone as far as the guilt is concerned. I think of John chapter 8, verse 36. If the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. Can he set you free from the grip of sin and shame? I think of the Old Testament King David. David was in a high position and he fell and great was the fall thereof. Nathan confronted him and when he admitted his sin, God said, the Lord has taken away your sin so that you will not die. Could he be forgiven of all that he had done? Remember that he went on to be the king that would be the model for all kings. He wrote Psalms in the New Testament. He's referred to as that man after God's own heart. I'd say that the Lord put him back together again and made him as good as new. Now, that doesn't mean that we can go out and get ourselves involved in all kinds of circumstances and then get out of those circumstances by turning to the Lord. He never promised that. In fact, he rather promises that we'll have to bear the consequences, the consequences of sin here. A person gets angry and murders his best friend. He can get forgiveness, but he can't get his friend back. A man starts an affair and ruins his marriage. He can get forgiveness but he may not get that marriage back. A man becomes an addict to some drug or alcohol. He can get forgiveness. He can dump a lot of the shame, but he'll have to fight the rest of his life to stay away from the drug or the alcohol, whatever it was that caused him to fall and break apart. Now the Lord will help. He is the one who can help. He is the one who will help. He is the one who can get us back together again, no matter what the sin we've committed, no matter how bad the fall we've had. The very basic point that I would make today is when you're broken, be sure to call on the King of Kings.